Time for the A to Z of vitamins now. Our favourite pharmacist, Gerald Quigley, is back with us. Hello, GQ. Hello, Ed. Hello, Zoe. Hello. I'm thinking every time we go for a walk, we settle into a chair, we hug our loved ones, we're using our bones, our mm. joints, our muscles, vital parts of our body we really need to look after. Well, bones are living things, Ed. Mm. So are they living? They are living. <laughs> yeah, so a bone has a blood supply. You try In it? Yes, <laughs> inside. I it thought the supplies... bone was just a bone. No. You're it's, a fascinating it's... man. It is a living part of your body, so you've got to nurture it. Yep. And that's why we talk calcium. Calcium's got other functions as well. It's good for nerve, uh, particularly as you're growing up. Ever had growing pains as a child? Yes, I have mm. growing pains calcium right now. Calcium phosphate, for different reasons. <laughs> calcium phosphate, <laughs> terrific for growing pains. But calcium, though, we can get it from our food, but using a calcium supplement, particularly through menopause and postmenopause, really important. Yeah. And blokes need calcium. Uh -huh. We think bone health, we think women. Women, yeah. But mm. blokes actually can have osteoporosis, so they need to be mindful of their calcium intake, intake. as well. Right. Regular dairy, very important. None mm. of the low-fat stuff. Stay away from no, that. No, go full fat, Re right? Regular dairy, because it's a lot of evidence now that's changing that's saying we should be supporting it.